Tonight is the Elimination Chamber, as we are on the road to WrestleMania 34, and we are eliminating one piece of pavement at a time on this journey. So, uh, tonight Ronda Rousey is signing her WWE contract, and, um, I'm not that big of a UFC fan, but, um, the little bit that I have seen from Ronda Rousey will make me admit that she is kind of a cool person. I'll admit that, but uh, there's one thing that's kind of irking me about this whole situation, um, I keep hearing rumors that Ronda Rousey is going to be the one to break Oscar's undefeated streak. And to that, I say bullcrap. If Ronda Rousey's WWE career is going to be legit, I want her to be like a regular superstar. I want her to be on the card on a regular, consistent basis as much as she can be. I don't want her to go like full Brock Lesnar mode and just work on special occasions. I don't, I don't want to see that happen. The only way that I can see myself accepting Ronda Rousey being the one to defeat Asuka for the first time will be one of two things. One, I need her to be a regular superstar on the card from time to time. And two, I don't want her to do it too soon. Speaking of Asuka, that brings us to Asuka versus Nia Jax. Everybody's making a big deal out of, out of this. Asuka's beaten Nia Jax before in NXT. If Nia Jax beats Asuka tonight, uh, it might be a little bit awkward. So yes, I pick Asuka in this match. And I wouldn't mind seeing herself face Charlotte at Mania this year. And that would leave Ronda Rousey to possibly take on the winner of the Women's Elimination Chamber match. See, d didn't I say this was going to be a thing? Didn't I say this was going to happen? But Alexa Bliss defends her title in the Elimination Chamber with Bailey, Mandy Rose, Mickey James, Sonya Deville, and Sasha Banks. I wouldn't mind seeing Sasha win this match, but you know what? We're this close to WrestleMania as is, and Alexa Bliss, she has been champion for such a long time now. So I would say, yeah, let, let's go ahead and let Alexa Bliss win this match. Because uh, right now, at the moment, I'm sensing a little bit of a Alexa Bliss babyface turn. Thanks to what I'm seeing with turning Mickey James, I'm seeing a little bit of a change going on with uh, Alexa Bliss at the moment. Yeah, I think she's finally about to delete her heel persona. And speaking of delete, that brings us to Woken Matt Hardy versus Bray Wyatt. Yeah, um, they've been milking this whole feud since before Christmas. I didn't think it was going to last this long, but you know what? I was wrong. So, um, yes, I'm a big fan of the whole Woken and Broken stuff of Matt Hardy, but I'll admit that as far as WWE is concerned, I, I, I think that they kind of went a little bit too fast with this. But hey, at least it's with Bray Wyatt. I'll, I'll give him that. Chances are, this might go all the way up until WrestleMania. And as big of a Woken Warrior that I am, I don't want to see Bray Wyatt lose yet another WrestleMania match. So I'm not going to count the match that started the whole Woken Matt Hardy thing. But the first time between Woken Matt and Bray Wyatt, Wyatt won at Raw 25. So at Elimination Chamber, I sense Matt Hardy winning it. And then that will set up for a rubber match at WrestleMania, which Bray could possibly win. But now here comes my problem. Here comes my dilemma of thinking. Uh, with it being WrestleMania, chances are they're going to go all out for the broken brilliance. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about Queen Rebecca. I'm talking about Vanguard 1. I'm talking about Senior Benjamin. I'm talking about King Max. I I'm, I'm talking about the whole Hardy clan. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't want to see Bray win in that situation. I, I don't want to see Matt lose with all of that stuff on his side. So, uh, again, this is this whole situation is very confusing to me and my brain up there. So now, that brings us to the men's Elimination Chamber match. There's going to be seven people in it this time. Mm -hmm. Three people is going to start it out, then it's just going to go like a regular Elimination Chamber. Mm -hmm. 
Now the winner of this seven man elimination chamber match goes on to face Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania for the Universal title. So uh, let's see here. I don't want Cena to win because he's already so close to be beating Flair's record. And I also don't want to see him walk in to face Undertaker at WrestleMania either. I would suggest Elias for his WrestleMania opponent. That might be a stupid way of thinking, but you know what, that's just me. Alright, Finn Bell is cool. I wouldn't mind seeing him go to WrestleMania. But, um, I, I kind of had a suggestion for Finn Balor. I, I don't know why I didn't think about this during my last episode of Ring Ramblings, but I'll suggest for WrestleMania, Demon Finn Balor versus Dead Man Undertaker. The Demon versus the Dead Man, that, that would look pretty dope. I mean, think about it. Undertaker, he's had so many WrestleMania matches in the past. Finn Balor, he has had zero. So just, so just think about that for a second. All that WrestleMania experience versus the first WrestleMania experience. Plus, I'm just thinking about the whole WrestleMania-sized demon entrance. That, that would look insane, especially against Undertaker. Y yeah, I, I hope that can happen. Braun Strowman, he, he could be a good choice, but I, I still see him facing Triple H at WrestleMania. I could be wrong. The Miz, he is already Intercontinental Champion. And I don't want to see The Miz or Brock Lesnar hold both of those titles. So that only leaves either Roman Reigns or Seth Rollins to win this match. Those are my picks. Roman Reigns or Seth Rollins. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's been me rambling about the Elimination Chamber. Go ahead, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about tonight's event. Go ahead, hit that like button, show your boy some support. Go ahead, click that little pretty link down in the description below you'll be taken to a website called my teespring and you could buy a whole bunch of self-standard merch and guess what i found out that i did not lose my end screen so after i do the booyah you get to see my end screen make a return yeah wow i'm not used to showing like this but you know what the whole ypp thing is in effect and i'm such a long way away from reaching 1000 subscribers so yeah, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, help me be YPP eligible, bye bye, so long, booyah, I'm out.